Hey everybody, this is the CyberBard, and welcome back to another Walking Dead Wednesday. So, in our last episode, we were introduced to the primary protagonist of this series, which is Lee, this lovely fellow right here. Lee was, unfortunately, on his way to prison at the beginning of the game uh, for having murdered someone. Whether he did it or not, who knows? We haven't gotten to that point yet. But Lee suffered a terrible car crash with the police officer due to the beginning of the zombie infestation. So this game takes place at the very beginning of the Robert Kirkman comic book series, The Walking Dead. And so a lot of the things that you see here, if you're familiar with the comic or with the television show, will be familiar. Uh, this takes place just outside of Atlanta. So this does not follow the primary protagonists of the comic book or television series, but from what I have heard, they do occasionally make uh, appearances within this game. So let's move it along. <clears throat> and uh, Lee has become the uh, erstwhile protector of the young girl Clementine, a girl who is right there. She uh, unfortunately was alone with her babysitter when the infestation started. Her parents are nowhere to be found, presumed dead, and we are the only ones taking care of her now. And Lee has vowed to protect the child. So let's move along and see what's happening. Are those zombies? No, they're pushing a car. These are people. Okay. We're gonna go. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. There's zombies killing people and you're worried about hot dish night? Dude, come on. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh, kid. I won't leave you alone. I'll I take care of you. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Sorry if I hey, sniffle a little bit. Holy having, shit! Uh, Don't eat us! Cold. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Well. I've got a kid. I've got my priorities in order. We need help. We're looking for help. Are you help. trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm yeah. Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. <clears throat> How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Uh, no Just lying. Some guy. No lying. Some guy? Yeah. She's <clears throat> alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta yeah, go. Uh, get off the pot, kid. Lee, quick. Let's go. Okay, zombies, 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 zombies. Uh, push, 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 push. Holy crap! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, they're getting close. Good, good kid, smart. Push, 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 push. Oh man, they're close. Oh no, 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 no! Go, 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 go. For just some guy? Ooh. It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Yeah, no kidding, dude. You've got the cyber bar to the driver's seat. Okay, that was... That was excessive. Forgive me. I should be humble. Where the hell are we going? Yeah, because cornfields are great when you have zombies coming.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back. Is this Herschel? Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. It is Herschel. You've brought a couple guests. So, Herschel... Your boy's a lifesaver. ...is Laddie one of the main characters somebody. in The Walking so it's Dead. it's just you and, and your daughter, then. He looks a little oh, different in the daughter. comics than He's, he does in the well, television show. Just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, <clears throat> looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. So apparently we have this to be careful happened? a little bit. Okay, not gonna lie. Car accident. Car accident. That's so... Where are you headed before the car accident? <clears throat> home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Not gonna lie. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. <clears throat> I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Smart guy. That doesn't yes. seem necessary. Aw, oh, dude. I don't know what you saw on oh, TV on, or Herschel. heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, your son's, your son's right, dude. right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Fort Stuff Knox. like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. That would what be do bad. we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Dude, you have well, a weird sense of humor. You'll be fine. That's okay. messed up. That'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Yeah, Come bright tomorrow, and early. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. All righty. What it a messed up like... situation. Oh. Um, we'll be polite. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like yes, that. exactly like a horse plopping, Clementine. I miss my mom and dad. Oh, I bet, Clem. What a poor How kid. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. That's Savannah, Georgia, for those who didn't necessarily catch the first episode. Oh, poor Clementine. I love you, baby. 
<laughs> I guess he's having nightmares. <laughs> Did he kill his wife hey, or whoever? Who knows? We'll find Ooh. out, I guess. What an Who's itchy. this dude? Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. <clears throat> There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. Oh, okay. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh, dodging or quacking? or quacking? Quacking. Dad! Yeah, See? I get it. So he's gonna be one of those annoying kids. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Damn right. Uh, I'm gonna I'll ask the, the girl. girl would like. Ah, I want to stay gotta on consult the miss side. I understand, honey. Duck, this is Lee, and uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there. So the faster we get this fence up, the better. I yep. want to build a fence. Yeah. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool. Duck and I will hop to it. Yes, it's a tractor. It's cool. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I guess I can wander a little bit now. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Is there anything worth checking out over there? No. I don't think so. Anything? No. So I guess I have to go talk to everybody. <clears throat> all right. He seems like an all right dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, all right, so we're not in a big rush right now. Let's offer to help. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need uh, any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <laughs> I have no I have freaking no idea. idea. What I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Well, I need to hook up with some. So, what's your family's tough plan? People. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. <clears throat> Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. <clears throat> so Kenny's got a boat, so that's good to know. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? <clears throat> yeah. That's hey nice. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, 
It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Aren't you a cheerful, cheerful woman? What do so, you do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, you... No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny uh -uh. just drove. We passed so many people that needed help and hopefully she's just not a big mouth. Passed people over some just just uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we the things Doc went through. Don't you I want to go back to the moment before you knew about all this? I can only imagine how messed up this situation would be for children. Unbelievable. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Dude. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. On that cheerful note, Lee, come on. You can be a little more... Uh... <clears throat> Let's see what these ding dongs are up to. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Yeah, that makes sense. What do you have to say, Sean? Sean's still working on that fence. Yup. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things okay. up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. <clears throat> No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. No shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Shit. You don't see things like that. It's, it's not intense. like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Let's be honest. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. <clears throat> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. <clears throat> we'll hope so. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. <clears throat> what is this? Okay. Let's try talking to him. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh, boy. Hmm. I 
Chris Herschel. What do you guys say, Herschel? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I <coughs> walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's dude, a nice my plot of land. Messed up. Come huh. on. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. <clears throat> Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I Focus hope they're on the right. positive. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Yep. But at least you have the common honest. sense to listen to a man giving you <coughs> advice. What the? Oh shit. No, 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 Go! no, no, no. I'll get my gun! What happened? What happened? Oh no 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 no! Oh Sean, crap! Oh come on, please no! Do I have to pick? Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get the kid. Come on, pull him, pull him, pull him, pull, 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 pull. Um, where? What the hell? There, got it. I got you. They're almost oh, through. Christ. Now, Sean, get this tractor off of me. Go for the kid. Please, no, go for Sean. Me, what are you please. doing? Ah! Oh no, no, Sean. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, holy shit. Get out. What? Get the fuck out of here! Whoa there, buddy. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. <laughs> and you! You didn't even try to help. What the hell did you want me to do? I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. That's pretty unfair. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Wow. That's... That's intense. Really didn't expect that. See, that's the thing well, about this game. This is as far as we're going. It makes you make choices like enough. that, and you never know what's going to happen. And it changes the whole course of the game, from what I understand. Look! 
Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh no, 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 no. Oh god, it's zombies. Fuck! Aw, oh, dude. Kenny, you done goofed. We're trapped! Ah! If the kid gets eaten no! now, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't know who these people are, but they just freaking saved our asses big time. <clears throat> we can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Yeah, we, we have kids with us. Kids, all we're I doing is... I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. Just hold it, They've kid. They've got hold kids, it. Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen Jeez, this chill out, dude. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, Whoa there, no, bro. Hey. What do we do about this guy? There's a psycho. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. Okay, this guy's and a psychopath. We need to matter. friggin' shut him up but now. right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. <clears throat> it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got <clears throat> a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad oh, guy. There's gonna be a here. zombie I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. Okay, that's it. Knock this guy out. Happily. Goddamn right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> oh, shit. I knew it. Jesus. I freaking knew it. I knew it. Okay, I gotta stop this now. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. If you're playing the game, drink. Lee got clumsy. Get you take a drink. Oh man, I thought he was going to actually bite me there. I didn't think I was hitting Q fast enough. Whew. Man, you are an okay. awesome shot. I like you, lady. Just great, thanks. Oh, that was intense. Holy crap. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. 
They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! <coughs> What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? <clears throat> Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. No, what definitely not. We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. So There's a motel not it. too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in so with this her is and Glenn. get back here as soon He's as one can. of the main and characters you? in The What's Walking your Dead. It's in Lily. The, uh, My dad's Lily. In the uh, TV show and Keep the a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Whew. All right. So, I believe that at this point, I am going to take a break. We are going to continue with The Walking Dead in the next video for now we're going to to leave it off because we had a nice big cutscene there so i hope that you are enjoying this game i'm finding it very intense and it's a lot of fun i'm trying not to do too much voiceover commentary during the video because quite frankly the voice acting is fantastic and i want to let it shine so i'm still going to be commenting here and there just we'll see it depends on the situation today was not the biggest commentary day because a lot of stuff went down so if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, and also share this on Facebook, wherever, Reddit, anywhere. It always helps me out. And uh, if you'd like to follow me on social media, please do so in the uh, links in the description of the video below. As always, I thank you very much for stopping by and watching my videos. This is the CyberBard signing off. I wish you a fantastic day. Peace.